Hey there, welcome back to Elysium. My name is Ellie, and today I'm going to be doing swatches of the new ColourPop lip glosses. So these were sold as a promotion over Independence Day weekend. If you bought $20 worth of products from ColourPop, they would give you one free gloss. And then for every $10 past that, you could earn up to four glosses. They come in four colors. As far as I know, they are limited edition. I do believe they are kind of testers for a line of lip glosses to come in the future, but I am not 100% sure on that. I have two ColourPop Ultra Mattes already, Highball and Guess, and they are my absolute favorite lip products that I own, and I've been planning to make an order from them for a while, so when I saw this promotion, I figured now was the time to do it. So here's the box. I have only opened it as far as to cut the tape. So here are the glosses in their own little packet. I got all four of the shades so I could test each one out. So they come with a little card of information. It says Ultra Glossy Lip. Our Ultra Glossy Lip provides extreme shine with a cushion-like comfortable feel. Absolutely no stickiness or tackiness. This lip gloss smooths and conditions the lips with emollient ingredients leaving your lips looking fuller, healthier, and super kissable. Available in four finishes, sheer, transparent gloss with a hint of color that does not contain any pearl or glitter, sheer metallic, transparent gloss with multi-dimensional glitter, cream, medium coverage gloss with a creamy finish that does not contain any pearl or glitter, ultra metallic, full coverage gloss with a smooth pearl metal finish that does not contain any glitter. So here's a size comparison. This is the full size highball and this is the mini gloss. These are super cute and tiny and I just think they're adorable. You could toss these in a purse and take them basically anywhere. So I'm a little nervous for these because I have a love or hate relationship with lip gloss. It can be super tacky and sticky and it just makes me feel kind of awful and claustrophobic in my own body. But also I've had experiences with lip gloss that is amazing and smooth and shiny and it makes me feel like a pretty princess. So I'm hoping these are more of the princess experience than the sticky trapped in my lips experience. So two disclaimers before we start. One, my lips are absolutely horrendously dry all of the time. I'm really not sure why that is. I try to put healthy products on them, to moisturize them all the time, to exfoliate them, and nothing really works. They just do not want to be helped. I don't know. I live in Phoenix half the year. My lips are really silky smooth there, and then I come back to the north where there's humidity and they are terrible. Second disclaimer, I am relatively fair, but I do have olive undertones to my skin, thanks to my dad's entire side of the family being from the Mediterranean. And the funny thing is, you can't see it until I actually put on some sort of makeup product and I realize it doesn't look like I expect it to look because I have that kind of olive undertone to my skin that just affects every pigment I put on my face. So those are the two disclaimers here and let's get swatching! So the first of the glosses is Piranha, which is a nice frosty pink. It is very sheer, but it provides a nice rosy tint. The second color is Weho, which is kind of a terracotta brown. All four of these applied very smoothly and were very light on the lips. It is a little more opaque than Piranha and I would consider it a nice glossy nude. Tokyo Tea is the most pigmented of the group. It is a pinkish cherry red. It was by far my favorite as far as consistency. It was a lot more buttery than the others, and I loved the color payoff. The final gloss is Finder's Keepers, which is a light mauve. Much like Weho, it is semi-sheer, but it leaves a nice purplish tint that I think would flatter most skin tones. So, of these four, I think my personal favorite has to be Tokyo Tea. I thought definitely it was the most pigmented of the bunch. It also had kind of the smoothest texture. They all were pretty, pretty good in texture overall. They're a little bit tacky after a few minutes on the lips. That's why I was doing my, my pop test. And they're a little tiny bit tacky, but they are overall very, very nice. I enjoyed wearing all of them. 
I was really scared for Weho. In fact, I almost didn't order this one because I don't usually look good in brown or any shade thereof. But it actually it looked very nice on because it has a nice sheer transparent kind of quality. And any of these I have found you can build them up to give them more opacity, such as Piranha. I ended up trying it on with two coats and it looked a lot more opaque. And this one is actually my probably my second favorite because it has kind of this nice sheen to it. It's almost like a little more glossy than the others. I really liked this one. As far as lip glosses go, I would definitely recommend these. They did have very smooth application, very easy to remove afterwards, of course, in the lip glosses, but they were very fun to wear. And I really do like the colors that they chose as far as a set. I feel like they covered all their bases. And these do have a bit more of a tint kind of effect, all except Tokyo Tea, which I felt like had a lot of color packed into it. And I will probably be wearing this one an awful lot, and I would buy a full size of it if they do indeed. These don't have any noticeable scent to them. They do smell a bit like makeup and cosmetics, but not in like a bad way just in a that's what they smell like kind of way and I, the smell absolutely fades as soon as you apply them but I figured that might be important for some people who I know some people really don't like scented makeup or makeup that smells like really strong makeup these are not that these just smell a little bit like cosmetics and you put them on and it fades immediately and they also don't taste like anything they kind of just are there I guess so now that we've gone through all the glosses, which is I'm sure the part everybody is here to see, I'm going to go ahead and swatch the other products that I ordered, which are all products that have been out for a very long time now. I'm super excited about them, and I thought what better way to try them all on for the first time than with you guys. So here we go, we're going to swatch them all from lightest to darkest. So the first color we're swatching is Marshmallow, which is actually an ultra satin. This is my first experience with the ultra satin line from Colourpop. And they are very nice to wear. They have a smooth creamy consistency, almost like a mousse texture, and they sit so nice on the lips. They do have a kind of odd flavor to them. It's almost bitter, but it fades after a few moments. Next is Pedophore, which is another of the Ultra Satin Lips. It is a cement gray. It is a very unique color, especially since it reads a little bit green on my lips. I really enjoyed wearing it. It's so smooth. Koala is an ultra matte. It's a very vibrant lilac. It's perfect for the days where all I want to wear are pastels. Donut is one that I knew I really wanted from the start. It's a nice pink coral. It's almost a good go-to shade for me since it's a more vibrant version of my natural lip color. This one felt a little chalky at first, but I did really like it once it had dried. Pacific is a nice true orange. It kind of matches my hair. I feel like this is a really great summer color because it's so vibrant, but I almost think it would be nice in fall because the orange reminds me of the bright, crunchy scarlet leaves. Ouija reminds me quite a bit of Pacific, but with a pink hue mixed in. It's very bright and a little darker and deeper than the shade Highball. This is another ultra satin called The Rabbit, which reminds me of Alice in Wonderland. It's a very bright, vibrant fuchsia with a blue pearl shimmer. It reminds me a lot of my favorite drugstore lip color, which is Wet n Wild Silk Finish Lipstick in Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. Something about it makes me feel futuristic and spacey. This is the last ultra satin. It's so wavy. I absolutely love deep indigo purples, and this one has a nice shimmer to it. The ultra satins are just so nice to wear. They're so comfortable. They do have that odd flavor for a few minutes at the start, but it does fade the longer you wear them. So this is Bedazzle. I was really scared that it would look too much like So Wavy, but I'm glad to report that is not the case. Bedazzle is a lot more red based and reads almost towards a plum for me, and it really brings out the hazel in my eyes, I think. So for the last, I have saved Creeper. This is a very deep, true red. It gives off almost a retro vibe. I love a red lip, and this one is very solid. I feel like the longer I wore it, it almost darkened a bit on my lips, 
but it has nice blue undertones that kind of kept it looking very red and not too orangey on my skin. I ended up wearing Creeper all day, and here's what it looked like eight hours later with no touch-ups whatsoever. So we made it through 10 fun swatches in a row. I absolutely love all of these. I am such a fan of ColourPop Cosmetics. They are cruelty free, they come in weird colors, and they are extremely affordable, which are my three great loves when it comes to makeup. I absolutely recommend all of their products, especially their ultra matte lips. I will be doing some tests on the ultra satin lips. I'm taking a trip in a few weeks, and I will take them with me and see how they hold up. And I even love the glosses, even though I'm not that much of a lip gloss person, if I had to pick a single gloss to wear, I would absolutely pick ColourPop's Tokyo Tea. So I'm hoping they do come out with a full size line of those. I would love to see them expand the colors of the gloss line as well. So fingers crossed, we'll see what they have in store. So thank you guys so much for watching this video and hanging out with me. I hope it was informative for some of you and fun for the rest of you because I had a total blast and I hope you guys did too. So thank you for watching. I love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day and I will catch you later.